Boys and girls, let's take a look at the next question. It deals with equivalent fractions. Anna placed candles on three-sixths of the set of the cupcakes shown below. The question says, which fraction is equivalent? That is your key word. Equivalent means equal to. Which fraction is equivalent to three-sixths? Is it one-ninth? Is it one-fourth? Is it one-third? Is it one-half? Well, let's look at how many cupcakes there are. One, two, three, four, five. There are six cupcakes. Let's see how many have candles and how many do not have candles. Do not have candles. One cupcake, two cupcakes, three have candles. How many do not? One, two, three. Three do not have. So three out of six have. Three out of six do not have. So those are equivalent. Obviously, three six equals three six. So how do we figure out? Well, three plus three, those are equal parts. Equal parts. Only two equal parts, so the correct answer is one half. Half of six is three. Three plus three equals six. Half of, th of six is three. So three out of six is one half. Boys and girls, there is another way that we can do this question. Let's look at it again. Anna placed candles on three-sixths of the cupcake shown below. Which fraction is equivalent to 3 6? I previously told you equivalent means equal to. Let's count all the cupcakes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The total number of parts becomes my denominator. The total is our bottom number or the denominator. Let's see how many had candles. 1, 2, 3. 3 out of. I always say that this line means out of. Three out of six had candles. This is the part. Part of the cupcakes had candles. Part, total. Now we want to see how can we reduce this. How can we reduce this fraction to get either one ninth, one fourth, one third, or one half? What is equal to? Well, we want to make the numerator a 1, which is a smaller number than 3, so we must divide. What number can we divide that will go into 3 equally and 6 equally? Well, 1 would, but that would still give us 3 6. Can we divide 3 by 2 equally? No. Can we divide 3 by 3 equally? Yes. Can we divide 6 by 3 equally? Yes. So let's divide both of these by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. The correct answer, therefore, is D, 1 half.